Tolu Tanalo Tana, who's the director producer, sent me this script. And when he spoke to me about it, he initially wanted me to play another character. So I read the script and I was like, wow, I love this. And I liked how the story was written. I liked that it was different. I liked that it was about coppers. And there was there's, there's a message in the film that's not very obvious. And I liked the way he had written it. And, you know, I got the message right at the end. So I called him and I'm like, is this what you're really saying? Oh my God, the message, I love it, I love it, I love it. And I said, I'm sorry, you're that character that you want me to play. I don't like her. And I don't think it's going to work. <laughs> We started talking about the story and the characters and we talked about Yewande. And I said to him, I want to play Yewande. And he was like, really? Are you sure? Huh? She's going to be local, she's going to be this, she's going to be that, she's going to be... I said, that's the reason I want to play her. Yes, When we got to the location, which was out of Lagos, we had to go all the way into the forest, Igwe in Rumoli. That's where they took me to. Thank God I didn't die there. Anyways, so um, I spoke to some of the women there because she was going to speak Yoruba, but she was going to speak the Aroke Yoruba. And I needed to hear exactly how, you know, to pronounce some words, what, how she would say certain things. And, you know, she was very, she's, Yewande is younger than I am, than Lala. So that there should be a certain innocence to her, but the character is layered. So there's more to her than just an ordinary bread seller. So having to um, communicate that or perform that was of course my assignment. And I had, I mean, I was surrounded by great people in terms of the crew, everybody, you know, on set there was a, there was this, let's all make it happen. So we didn't feel like, oh, it's the producer's film. It was like everybody's film, everybody's project. Every challenge was everybody's challenge. The experience on set was, it was half and half, it was tough, I'm not gonna lie. Ajuaya set was hard. Hard! Because it was in the forest. And when you go and shoot in the forest, you're going to experience all the challenges in the world, especially things that will bite your body. So yeah, everybody had things biting them. And I think the most challenging night was the night where we were to shoot. I mean, we climbed things, oh, you all should know if we climbed things. I climbed things and we all carried the equipment, but it was all fun at the end of the day. And then it started to rain one night. And you know, that's the beautiful thing about filmmaking. You can just rework things, you know, change, change things around. So what, we, what was the initial plan couldn't be done but the director, writer, everybody created something else and it still worked and that's what you're going to see. So I, I, I hope you love, you love the coppers and you love their lives and you love the location because you know this film is not shot in Lagos so it takes you to another part of the country. So you experience another part of Nigeria through Ajuaya the movie, you experience another part of the language. Um, you're going to see me looking very different. My hair was made, I did Koroba and it was beautiful. I loved it and I loved my travel marks you one day, you one day the bread seller. Um, I'm, I hope, I hope that when when the film comes out, she's loved because as actors we do our best, and um, we hope that the audience bonds. Hello, eh, I say cinema ko. Ode maja de ni ugole wono ni orile de Nigeria ni ojo kedi ushu kedi odu ta wa ni mo fe ke lo wo se ti bo e lo wo. Hello, <laughs> <laughs>